week is a handicap match. You see him coming out first, led by the very lovely Coral. It's Python and Michael Todd, and mysteriously, Frankie Capone not at ringside with them this week. And not this week. And not Coral's rack looking beautiful as always. Like a rack of lamb? No, I dub these sirloin. I tell you what, speaking of racks, here comes Seven, leading out wrongful death. That's Naftali, Dagen Briggs, and Ash Corbin. This is supposed to be a six-man, but Frankie Capone, nowhere to be found. So uh, Python and Michael Todd, you have to give them credit. They said, bring them on. We're going to take on these three guys and show you just what we're made of. They want the tag team belts currently held by Quickie Mart. Quickie Mart, they thought they had won the war when they finally took the belts from myself and the Shane brothers. They won the Florida Unified Tag Team Championship, and they thought everything was going to be peaches and cream after that. The truth is, the battle has just begun. They got people like Wrongful Death lined up. They got Michael Todd and Python. They got Blackout coming down from NWA Wildside. They got all kinds of teams that won shots at those tag team goals. Yeah, all the teams here in IPW looking to go after Quickie Mark. They think they're new champions. They might be easy pickings. But if you beat the Shane Twins, you are not easy pickings. And they definitely earned their win against the Shane Twins. It took them multiple times. But right now, we should be more concerned with Dagon Briggs doing a sliding kick right to the face of Michael Todd. Dagon Briggs, former IPW hardcore champion, teaming up with his partner, Naftali, a former IPW tag team champion. He's got the experience. He knows what it's like, Naftali does, to walk around with that gold. He knows what it's like to have the IPW Tag Team titles. And Dagon Briggs, he's no stranger to being a champion, and he's not afraid to get in there with somebody much bigger than Michael Todd. And he tags in his partner, Ash Corbin, and look at these two go with him. Wow. Well, that was a double spinning heel kick right out of the face of Michael Todd. And he may be a big guy, but with that tag team work they've got going, if he doesn't get Python in there very quickly, this match could be over. And I would even call it, even three on two, I'd call that a bit of an upset over these two giant individuals. No, at January 26th, Sixth at IPW Hardcore Wrestling's hostile takeover at the Florida WrestlePlex. You're going to see all these individuals in some of the greatest matches that the WrestlePlex has ever seen. A huge fan dream match that the fans have been begging for. Wrongful death. They will challenge Quickie Mart for the IPW and NWA Florida Tag Team titles, better known as the Florida Unified Tag Team titles. That match promises to absolutely blow the roof off the WrestlePlex. That should be a great, great match, Ron. There's no doubt about that. And fans you can get your tickets by calling the Florida WrestlePlex at 727-526-6778 and find out all the information about that card and everything else going on in IPW at IPW-Hardcore.com. Python levels Naftali with a huge boot to the face, and he does it so nonchalant. He makes it look like it takes absolutely no Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's thrown around Naftali like a sack of potatoes, kind of like when I was down at x Ratings Ballpark Cafe at 1850 Central Avenue when they took the potatoes and they were throwing them around and they sliced them into the French fries, which I slathered with okay, the Ron, blue Okay, Ron, okay, Ron. We, we know you love x Ratings Ballpark Cafe, particularly the food, but did you just see Naftali get his throat dropped across? the rope. I've never seen anybody bounce off the ropes like that, but I guess when you weigh a buck fifty soaking wet with two bricks in your pockets, you're going to bounce a long ways. I've seen it, but you know it wasn't like when I was sitting in the back and the mud baby Star Stevens comes back after this grueling match. He was in the refereeing doing the best he could, supposedly call it right down the middle, because he calls himself straight call Star Stevens while everyone else calls him the mud baby. The truth is, he comes in the back and he says, Ronnie, that's what Gino Hernandez used to call the hot shot. Gino Hernandez, bringing up a name from the past from World Class Championship Wrestling. We've talked about Skandar Akbar, so you know we know our stuff about World Class. But, Ron, I could hardly gather my thoughts of what you were saying there because I was paying too much attention to Coral in the background. I enjoyed looking at her cleavage. Thank you. Back to you, Aaron. Okay, Ron. Always the insightful commentary by Ron Nimi. That's why he's in here, folks. Let me tell you right now, it looks like these two big men have finally let their size advantage take control of this match as Python is just kicking away at Naftali. And Naftali may not be the biggest guy in the world, but he's quite a hardcore wrestler. He was being handled right there. And now with our little tricky bit of editing, all of a sudden, all three members of Wrongful Death taking it right to Python. Huge, huge. Triple and, kick and it takes, I tell you what, it takes all three of them. If they get the pinfall, it may be three on two, but that was an upset. Fans, we'll be right back here in just a minute. 